Hello, this is Gregory the Poor Typist, and I must apologize for taking so long between videos. Um, yeah, <laughs> things happen. Anyway, yes, here we have a, let me see if I can hold it in the shot there, a singer, professional T62, um, I believe from... 1966 and we're just going to do a little typing test um, I did install a we are memory keepers uh, ribbon uh, black and brown so that's interesting all right now I have it on the black setting so let's just give it a little shot here Typos. And I guess I need to reset my margin there. <laughs> Pull this down and this down. And let's set it about right there. Hopefully you can see that well enough. All right, so that's the, the black setting there. Don't mind the typos. And now we're gonna put it on the brown setting. margin release and for some reason it skips over one when I do the margin release not sure what causes that maybe I have to I don't know uh, that works anyway what was that yeah um, I do it's a fairly standard typewriter font but I do particularly like the R and also the A. Those are particularly nice. Um, yeah. So, uh, yeah, let's just type a little bit more. I'm going to put it back on the, the black here. Back on black. Um, I did give this typewriter a, a reasonably good cleaning um the the segment the levers there right now I, otherwise i would open it up and, and show you but uh i cleaned the segment i cleaned the the type heads is that the word i mean <laughs> uh i'm always showing what a neophyte i am in in these videos um well, this being my second video. <laughs> All right, let's just let's just shut up and type. A little shout out to uh, Lionel Richie, <laughs> and I, 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 I wouldn't be surprised if I have those, uh, those words a little bit off because my wife will tell you that um, I am bad with lyrics. <laughs> anyway, um, let's just type a little bit more here. What to say? What to say?
Ah, typos. <laughs> Yeah, so this is a Singer Professional T62 from 1966, I think. Of course, it was likely manufactured by Royal, as it is the spitten image of the Royal Safari. And you do see it uh, there. It's it's not without its, its issues. Um, I suspect the ribbon vibrator needs some work. Um, you see there I didn't raise the ribbon high enough for the R. And if we move over here, again on the R. Um, so maybe it's something to do with the shift, I don't know. But, uh, and then <laughs> I accidentally typed an 8. I was meaning to do an apostrophe. I thought I was holding down the shift, actually. But, uh, so maybe there's maybe there's an issue there. Um, also, this, this keyboard, um, let me move it over here. Uh, hopefully not dropping it. But this keyboard uh, is not the most comfortable because it's basically bowl shaped. And when you're a, a chicken pecker like I am using, you know, one finger at a time, um, or two if you count both hands, <laughs> uh, it, it, for some reason it's not the most comfortable. Possibly because as a, a chicken pecker, you're, you're holding your hand like this. So those are generally tucked under, and they're gonna. There, there's a better look at it. Um, they're gonna kind of run into this here. Um, also on this typewriter, um, a, a poor design here. The backspace is actually higher and pretty close to the the one key, which. Um, causes some issues as well. Um, yeah. But, all in all, it's still a good typewriter. Um, yeah. I, I would certainly take this to like a type in or something like that. Um, let me see if I can get this back in the shot. <laughs> yeah. I would certainly take it to like a type in and I, I wouldn't be heartbroken if something happened to it. <laughs> First of all, it's a singer, which I actually think is kind of cool. Um, it's a little bit different. Um, but again, you know, it is very likely that it was Royal that was actually manufacturing this. And the the serial number, um, I won't bother show, showing that to you, but the serial number, uh, it does kind of correspond with the serial numbers for the Royal Safaris. So anyway, uh, I just thought I would do a, a quick test of, of this um, overhead shot and see if it's something I can do on maybe a regular basis. That would make this a little more interesting. Um, yeah, uh, I I don't have any uh, any more unboxings planned. The first video was an unboxing, which was kind of fun, but some people kind of hate unboxing videos, and I understand. Um, I I hopefully did a, a good job of, of that, but <laughs> feel free to go back and look at that. Um, but anyway, I hope you will um, like and subscribe, and... I have a little crying dog over there. <laughs> and um, follow me on this adventure of, of playing with typewriters again. And I have um, a little over 20 in my collection. So, yeah. Anyway. Yes. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you next time.